How the TPP will affect everyday people is still largely unknown, which is why some members of Congress, like Connecticut Democratic Representative Rosa DeLauro, says that transparency must be demanded by the public. As nurses, as taxpayers, as the American public have a right to have your member of Congress have input into a process that has wide-ranging effects on every aspect of our lives. That's simply what we are asking for. But not all members of the Democratic Party are as vocal. Ranking member of the Senate Finance Committee, Ron Wyden, is joining Republicans who will be pushing for fast-track authority. Currently, lawmakers can request to see chapters of the text being negotiated, but are not allowed to bring aides. Also, the text has not been released to the public. What is known about the TPP deal is through documents leaked to WikiLeaks. One of those chapters released is the health care annex, which would affect medicine prices. The everyday life of nurses providing health care and nursing care to our patients. I'm sure you've heard many people talk about the uh, expansion of the protections for brand name drugs from, quote, uh, eight years up to 12 years, and who knows, it might even go up to 20. Canada already has an eight year limit on brand names. This is going to change that. Higher prices for medication would hurt the already suffering middle class, says nurse Beverly Van Buren. She said her patients are already struggling to pay for medications now. A, a patient that had a transplant that end up going back on dialysis because that patient could not afford medication to keep the transplanted organ alive, survival. And now after thousands and thousands of dollars we spent transplanting this organ, this poor person is back on dialysis.